Lincolnshire Wild Railway's 1940s weekends are becoming more and more popular with each year, but last weekend was a particularly special event. Saturday the 3rd marked 77 years since France, New Zealand, Australia and the United Kingdom declared war on Germany after their invasion of Poland. The occasion was remembered on this quiet, secluded railway tucked away deep in the Lincolnshire Wolds, where they spent the weekend celebrating a bygone era of travel and culture. We've had these now for about the last 10 years and uh, it seems to get bigger each year. Uh, we get people come from well, county, all over the county and beyond really for this event. We have to turn out with the field that we normally use for parking. We use that for all the various events and attractions that are going on and we use a farmer's field on the other side of the railway for, for parking because we have to accommodate a lot more cars. There's a lot of nostalgia about it isn't there? I mean some people, you know, obviously, obviously the older generation still remember those days but even to youngsters it's probably quite fascinating. I mean we get an awful lot of youngsters come here who've never, never been on a, a train full stop, never mind a, a steam train. The majority of us are uh, retired people by nature and we, we, we've got more time on our hands. We have got a, a few, a small group of very dedicated youngsters who are very keen and we, they're the people that we need more of basically because obviously the older, the, you know, the generation that are running it now won't be able to carry on forever and we need younger people to take over. I mean we've got some really keen youngsters who, some of them have come here when they're you know, when they're still sort of eight, nine years old and they've stuck at it and they're still here now and they're in their thirties so they're the people that we need more of. I am a past fire cleaner, sorry, but I am now a trainee fireman on the steam locos. Okay, so what do you think is perhaps the best thing about being a volunteer? Getting mucky, getting mucky. Do you like playing on the train then? Yeah, good. yeah. You're learning stuff every day. The weekend spanned more than the railway, however, with rescue and military vehicles sharing the limelight, as well as reenactment groups rubbing shoulders with our allied forces. Well, being a 1940s um, thing, they actually like, the organisers like to have um, both sides of the picture. Um, and of course, as we've got British and American on the other side, um, they always like to have the opposition on the other side of the road so to speak mm. so people can get both sides of it obviously if it wasn't raining i'd uh, we'd all have a lot more kit out yeah but sadly not today not today i'm not afraid today. <laughs> not at the moment anyway yeah. well i think it's a great tourist attraction i mean we keep hearing about how important tourism is to the county and i think this railway is now making a big contribution to that um, i mean it's been proven we've done a bit of research ourselves, getting people to say, you know, questionnaires about where they've come from and so on. And um, it, we, we know that people come from great distances to travel here. And people have said that um, they find that this railway, so it's small, but it's very friendly. And they get such a good reception from the, from the, from the volunteers that, that work here. And uh, people can book that online. Um, it's, you can do it on our website. If I can mention the website address, uh, it's www.lincolnshireworldsrailway.co.uk, and you can book your tickets on there and um, get it all sorted out. Lincolnshire Wolds Railway remains one of the area's star attractions on any regular day, but the 1940s weekends remain a yearly highlight. With little outside assistance, the LWR insists on putting on a stellar show that captures the spirit of the era and this year's event met with resounding success, breathing new life into an ageing period of time. Fred McNamara, SG News.